Five times Apple's controversial design decisions spark debates. Apple is known for its unique designs and high-quality products, but you would have noticed Apple did mess up its products a few times, which caused a huge loss in constant consumers they had. Just because of bad design or small errors, they lost many of them and had to go through many controversies. Magic Mouse 2 The Apple Magic Mouse 2 was introduced in 2015 and claimed a lovely mess by critics as it is a poor wireless mouse for mixed use. Its compact design is suitable for traveling, though you can only use it with a fingertip grip, which is not so comfortable for everyone. On the hand, it has great build quality, though unfortunately the sensor has minimal performance and many people may not like the speed and fluidity of the cursor as it moves across the screen. It also has terrible click latency. The main reason why it had a controversial design was that they gave the charging port at the bottom of the mouse, which was really annoying and people were not ready to accept it. These only left Mac OS, the Magic Mouse works on Windows, but you can only get a left and right button click. Apple Siri Distant 2015 It was observed that customers did not like the first generation Apple TV Siri Distant. The reason behind this is it was made with a mix of aluminum and glass. It had a beautiful design but was so brittle that it could easily crack when dropped on the floor. Another problem was it was hard to know on which way to point to the setup box. Its touchpad was also complicated to use. In many cases, the pointer moved instead of clicking. After many years in 2021, Apple lastly launched a brand new click wheel design paying homage to early iPods to navigate interface when it began promoting the up-to-date Apple TV. Energy Mac G4 Dice 2000 Johnny Ives' Energy Mac G4 Dice design was an eye-catching design Apple made. The machine had an acrylic glass enclosure to provide the impression that it was floating in the air. It was a computer that did not look like one which it made it difficult to sell them off since it looked like an alien monolith and on top of that, Apple has a habit of making devices that are beautiful only as long as you never touch them. And guess what their customers did? Yes, you guessed it right, many customers chose never to touch a G4 Cube at all. The cube-shaped PC, which was 8-inch, had a visible stunner packing a G4 processor, a vertical slot loading optical drive, a laborious drive, RAM, a video card, and an array of ports all fit into that tiny box. It was a futuristic PC that had no followers and used passive cooling via a big vent on the highest. However, the G4 Dice had issues with issues on the floor degree and that led to the failure of the product. Many users complained that it was overheating and cracks to part failures, and it could not be updated meaning it lacks upgradability. That is one more reason for crits to judge. The G4 Dice initially was praised for its cutting-edge design but quickly turned into a joke for its underwhelming efficiency. Seeing the adverse reception Apple needed to reduce the value of the G4 Dice from $1,799 to $1,499, finally ending manufacturing one 12 months after launch. Regardless of having important flaws and business failures, the G4 Dice earned its place in New York's Museum of Trendy Artwork and is once more a prized collectible. The Apple Hockey Puck Mouse The Hockey Puck Mouse, which first came out in 1998, it regularly tops the list of the worst Apple products ever made it. Now, the main reason for the mouse to go flop was its shape. It was a round disc-like form and see-through internals matching the translucent design of the iMac G3. The shape of the product was not so efficient and was unsuitable for comfortable use. The round shape of the mouse made it difficult time orienting the mouse correctly while using it. If we talk about the build quality was generally thought to be bad, in general, it was a terrible mouse. The Hockey Puck mouse was the very first mouse to ever use USB as usual for connectivity. The users found it hard to use with two fingers. The mouse sold out for two years and Cupertino ultimately changed the Hockey Puck mouse into the Apple Professional mouse, which had an extra conventional design. Though the Hockey Puck mouse did not run long enough, the gadget is now known to be highly priced amongst classic Apple collectors. Mac Professional 2013 Can't innovate, no extra my ass. These were the exact lines that Apple's senior vice president of selling Phil Schiller famously mentioned as he launched the brand new Mac Professional at the 2013 Worldwide Builders Convention. When that remark was made, it looked like the daring act. Even though the $4,000 Mac Professional appeared to be like a garbage can and had a weirdly delightful design, a tool that solely Apple star designer Joni Ive may have considered. However, the machine had little inner expandability which annoyed skilled customers and Mac fans, a design flaw that even Apple later acknowledged. It was a case 
of Kind Over Operate.